Hi there. Thanks for looking at this tutorial on how to search the online catalog and place requests. Uh, there are many ways to get to the catalog. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll assume you're starting from the La Crosse County Library webpage, uh, as you see here, uh, which is located at lacrossecountylibrary.org. Uh, so we do have a catalog a search box uh, here toward the middle. Uh, of course, you can uh, just start your search there. Uh, or you can go up to the menu bar and click on catalog, and that will open a new tab uh, on the Winding Rivers catalog home. Uh, now you have a choice here. You can choose to log in directly from the get-go if you think you're going to request something, uh, or you can choose to do your searching first, and then when you find something, uh, you'll be prompted to log in at the time you request it. Um, so when you log in, it will ask you for your library card number and your PIN. So just a quick reminder, uh, by default, your PIN is set to the last four digits of the phone number you provided when you registered for your library card. So with the basic search that's here, uh, you can uh, put in any terms that you want to search by, you get an author's name, title, uh, subject, or even a combination of uh, those pieces of information. So we have just for this example, we'll put in the name of a popular author. I uh, will say Clive Kessler. Uh, and to notice that capitalization doesn't matter. Uh, you can do first name, last name, or last name, first name. Either way, doesn't matter. Um, and if you're not sure how to spell something, uh, or if you just happen to make a typo, like what happened here, I left out one of the S's in Kessler, uh, go ahead and do the best you can and to do the search anyway. And it, it will give you, if you're lucky, it will give you a did you mean uh, option here. So you get just say a click on it and that will take you to the results for that search. So then looking at the results here, uh, there's there are several things worth noting. Uh, First of all, let's say I start at the top of the page. Notice the interlibrary delivery is currently very limited and it will maybe take even longer than usual uh, just as a result of the current situation. So as a result, we are asking that you only request material from the Cross County Library locations. So you can do that by looking on the left-hand side here where it says refine by and we can apply some filters one of which is called collection. Uh, so we'll just click on more down here. And then you see uh, all of the Lacrosse County uh, locations are listed here. So you can uh, select uh, your preferred uh, Lacrosse County uh, library location, just do what's there, um, or you can do all branches. Uh, the other uh, filter uh, that you'll uh, probably want to use is the availability filter right here at the top and select uh, only items uh, that are currently at the libraries. And uh, notice uh, that as you apply filters, uh, they're appearing here at the very top of this column. You can choose to remove one by clicking on the X or clear all of them. But for right now, let's say uh, turn our attention uh, to the center column where the items are actually appearing. And uh, you might possibly get notice that we have a little bit of a mix of formats being listed here. Uh, this top one is a large print book. Uh, this one is a book with standard print size. Um, and it, as we go through, we may see some additional uh, formats, uh, audiobooks, even DVDs. Um, so if you do have a strong preference for one format over another, that's an additional filter that you could apply over on the left. Uh, for right now, uh, I'm going to content myself with it looking at the icons here about the format uh, and also the additional information provided underneath that. Uh, so if I look across here, I see this one is a paperback book. So let's just say that I wanted to look for a book, but I want a hardcover book, not a paperback. So I'll keep scrolling, large print, large print. Uh, here's an audiobook. Okay, here we go. Here's a uh, 
fiction item. Uh, so we, then we'll go to the right hand side of the screen and there's this button there nicely labeled request it. So we click on that. Now I had not logged in previously, so I'm going to be prompted to do that now. Put in the library card information. Oh, let's make sure I have the correct numbers there. And click submit. Okay, and so it's going to default to your home location for you to get pick up the book from. Uh, if you want to cho change that for any reason, you can uh, uh, choose another location from the drop down menu here. Uh, again, please stick with the Lacrosse County library locations. Um, and yeah, that's it. Then you get just to click on submit. And successful, all done. Uh, so we have, then it, you will be uh, contacted by library staff to arrange a time you can uh, come pick up your item or items if you would uh, go in and do some more. Um, please note that for the time being, we are limiting each patron's number of items on request to 15. And if you do need to call the library for additional help with requesting items, uh, please respect it, their time by limiting your request to five items. Uh, everybody at the library is working diligently to provide service to all patrons throughout the county. Uh, as always, if you encounter any problems, uh, feel free to email the La Crosse County Library at libraryinfo at lacrossecounty.org. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and stay safe.